closing down purchase orders. First of all, I'm going to remind myself how to do it by opening the help and support section. And within purchasing and payments, I'll be looking for the guidance changing a purchase order. You can click once on that link. It takes a moment or two to open it. You might want to save it and then open it. it can be a bit quicker. Once you do, you'll find a two page guidance document. The section we need is on the second page in the area closing down an outstanding purchase order item. The guidance is telling me that once I found my purchase order, I'll need to be editing it, um, something to do with the items, into the details, and then within the related documents tab, are the options that I need to change from no to yes, if I am going to close down the purchase order. So back into Voyager, I can do this from the procurement menu and from the requisitioning folder within the procurement menu, I'm going to select the option advanced search new. There are four types of documents I can find from this screen. I'm looking for a purchase order, so I'm going to select that option. Whichever option you do choose at the top, it changes the numbers at the bottom. If I had the number of the purchase order, I could pop that straight in, click on to search. Otherwise, I can use some of these fields, as I said before, to narrow down that search. I might want to do it by supplier. I might want to find a product category. In this example, I'm going to run it for my cost center. So I'll select the account assignment category as cost center. And then in the field to the right, the account assignment value field, I'll pop in my cost center. Now, I'm not going to run it like that. I need a time frame on it. I could select a specific date or I could choose a time frame, a date range. Or alternatively, I could just choose one of the existing options, in this case, 90 days. I'm going to click onto the search button. Very quickly, you saw that the cursor uh, moved across to the scroll bar, change size. So I now select that purchase order, click once there, and I should be looking at the purchase order on screen. Now, there's only one line on this order, um, but I'm still going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select that line, as the guidance tells me. Clicking once on the details button, and then I'm looking for the related documents tab at the top there. And it's worth pointing out, I think, at this point that if you did have more than one item, you've got your triangles there, which help you to navigate backwards and forwards through your items. So you don't have to keep going back and selecting it back into details. The area we need, just being pointed out now, that's where we can change no further confirmation to yes, if we're not going to have any more goods receipts and no further invoices to yes, if we don't anticipate to have any further invoices. When I click on to order, I have closed that purchase order down. I need to wait for a moment for my confirmation, but there's my confirmation on screen confirming that I've closed down that purchase.